Hey, Matt here with Mob Street, and today we are again with our TW200. And the purpose of today's video is to show you how to remove and reinstall the battery. Now, it's pretty straightforward, fairly simple. The owner's manual shows you how to do that, but in case you don't have an owner's manual, this video will hopefully explain it to you and show you how simple and easy a process it is to replace the battery. The other reason I wanted to do this is because I want to add a tender lead pigtail to the battery on the T-Dub. Now a tender lead pigtail is basically a lead from your battery to somewhere else on the bike that you can plug in a trickle charger um, without having to take the seat off and without having to plug right into the battery. So the pigtail will stay on the battery and then that way I can just plug it in every now and then in case the bike is sitting for a while and I want to make sure my battery maintains a good charge. That's why I'm going to put this pigtail lead on the bike. So anyways, let's get started. Okay, first thing first, you got to remove the two bolts that are underneath the seat. You've got one right here on the right side of the bike and one right here on the left side of the bike. So let's take those out. Set these bad guys aside, then just lift up the back, pop the suction cup off the front, slide the seat back, and that gives you direct access to your battery. These bolts, you can either use a number two Phillips to get those out, negative, positive, or just like the bolts that are underneath the seat, you take a 10 millimeter and you can disconnect those. Now, always remember to Disconnect the negative cable first, then you disconnect your positive. And once your cables are removed, you've got this little rubber strap that goes across the top of the battery here. There's a little lock tab right here that this metal hook clips into. So you just pull your strap, push down on that little metal hook, and then it pops out of that tab right there. Move that out of the way. Over here on this side of your battery, when you go to remove it, this is your battery vent line right there. Now you can either pull that up with the battery or you can simply pull that vent tube off and you can pull your battery straight out. So we can pull that out of here now if you need to replace your battery, you just put a new one in. If you're taking it out to do anything with it, it's simple reinstallation. Slide the battery back in. Hook your vent line back up. Take your strap, hook it up to our hook over here. That'll clip back into place. Reinstall your positive cable first. Remember these are a 10 millimeter or a number two Phillips. Put that back on. On the negative, I'm gonna show you using the number two Phillips. Slide that back into place. So I've got the Deltran Battery Tender Junior which is the charger that I'm gonna be using for the TW. So when you buy one of these, it'll come with two setups. It'll come with this tender lead, which will plug right into the charger, or it comes with the post clamps. And if you didn't have a tender lead, you would just hook those right up to the battery, just like that, and charge it, and you're good to go. So, since I have the tender lead, I'm going to be installing that and showing you how to do that right now. The first thing that we're going to do is look on the bike and find out where we want the tender lead to come out. So, I want mine to come right across this rail right here. So, I'm going to have to come in behind this side cover. So, what I'll do is I'll take my tender lead. I'm going to push it up there behind the side cover and there's a little section behind it that will come out right there next to the frame rail. So we're going to pull that out. We're going to zip tie it right there to the frame rail 
So it'll be nice tucked away and uh, just nice clean look is what we're going for. Now that we have where we want the connector to come out on the side of the bike for our auxiliary port to our battery, then we're going to run our wiring up on top. So as you can see, I took my positive or connected it to the side post of the positive battery terminal and then I took my negative, get that, sit back down, I took my negative and put it straight to the top post of the negative terminal and then you can see just routed right, right across the top here, right across the regular rectifier and then down the side of the frame rail right here. Just tried to keep it as clean as possible. Now our positive does have a fuse in it, which is right here under this cover. So if anything ever happens or if the wires get exposed in any way, it'll blow that fuse before hurting the battery. Nice little safety feature there. And that's it for the top. So we're gonna slide our seat back into place. Make sure that little plastic tab connects. We're gonna reinstall our seat bolts. Reinstall that one. Okay, so next we're gonna hook up our connector end right here. And I'm gonna try to keep it as factory looking as possible. So this zip tie right here, the head of the zip tie is behind the frame rail, so that's what I'm going to try to do with this one. So, I'm going to route my zip tie around the back end here. Grab this. Grab my connector. This set up. And I'm going to plug this in right here. Tighten down my zip tie. Set that to where it's right against the frame rail. Take my flush cuts. There we go. Now, before I connect my battery tender, I'm going to take this cover off right here. I'm just going to take some little dielectric grease right here and put some on my finger and just rub it onto that one right there. And maybe even just put just a little drop right there. Then take our battery charger lead, plug it in, and you're good to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. That tender lead can be used for multiple machines, the TW, basically any motorcycle, any ATV, any UTV. It is very handy to have. Um, nice just little plug-in port so you don't have to take off the seats or whatever else it may be so um, Yeah Hit like subscribe. I'm Matt. This is mob street again hanging out with my TW 200 and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching